5G promises to deliver many new services, uh, such as high-speed mobile broadband, mobile AR, VR, autonomous driving, uh, and a massive Internet of Things network. However, a traditional 4G network infrastructure will be unable to meet the speed, capacity, and latency requirements to provide these new services. Network operators will need to rebuild their entire front-end to back-end infrastructure. This could be very costly and time-consuming. Are there any solutions that can allow them to do this uh, quickly and cost-effectively? Well, Gigabyte has a new solution. Uh, it's called uh, MEC, a mobile edge computing uh, system architecture. Now, MEC is a new network architecture where data from the user's device, such as vehicles, sensors and others, it doesn't need to travel all the way back to the central cloud, but only to the edge of the network uh, where compute is performed and then back to the user's device. Now this can greatly reduce latency and also network backhaul requirements. Now MEC is a combination of uh, a gigabyte hardware platforms and also network and cloud virtualization technologies. Now here we have our H281 series uh, server, which is a 2U four node server system. Now the reason this makes an ideal platform uh, for a MEC server is it not only has very powerful uh, compute capabilities with dual Xeon scalable processors for up to 56 cores, but it also has a very dense expansion slot capacity. So for each node, we have one 4x16 low profile half length slot, as well as an OCP mezzanine slot underneath the storage area here. And then we have an additional two low profile half length slots uh, in a rear cage. So each node also has a rear cage with the two additional slots. So this allows a total of four expansion slots for each node, which is at least one slot uh, more than other competing solutions. So this makes this platform very flexible to be adopted uh, as a mobile edge computing server, a virtual evolved packet core server, or for other applications such as uh, video transcoding, high-speed storage, etc.